to have your fat mace. Good on you, Gav. Who needs men, Amy? Looks like Dan has been telling you fixed, don't they? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I've got some good news. I had a message from the hospital to say that yesterday evening, Zangra... Zangra. <laughs> <laughs> Who is Zangra? Jack. No, I'm Jim. That's a good outtake. <laughs> so what are you going to do? Are you going to tell... Oh, shit, sorry. I'm going to see that. Are you going to tell them? <laughs> Nikki, I want to apologise. You told me you were folk for fit. I can't speak. Nikki, I want to apologise. You told me you were fit. Oh! Nikki, I want to apologise. You told me you were provoked by Fenner. I can't speak. Nikki, I want to apologise. You told me that you were provoked by Jim Fenner. I've reason to believe you now. Well, bloody marvellous. I'm shipped round the country in a cattle truck while you work out the obvious. I said I'm sorry. So what's brought this on then? Jim Fenner's been... Oh, my fucking yeah, God. What? So what's brought this on then? Fenner's just been provoked. P45 for Labib. Got in the line, sorry. <laughs> what is it? Uh. Hang on, there's a shadow. What's that? My shadow in the back. Static. Set. Action. What are you doing here? What am I doing? What, 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 what is she doing? Here? Thank you, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I do know I was glad to have him around when a woman with HIV came after me using a syringe of her blood. Because I'm reaching for my wipe. That's a bit heavy going for an a hopper like you. What are you doing here? One of those irons in the fire I was telling you about. You've got a job here. Prison service professional. What? I'm working for area management. Special program for women lifers. I'm back in your case. Literally. You've got a job here. Prison service professional. What? I'm working for area management. Special program for women lifers. I'm back in your case. Literally. <laughs> Prison service professional. What? I'm working for area management. Special program for women lifers. I'm back in your case, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Is that alright? <laughs> the leading oh, leprechaun has extended himself. Skywards. I'm crippled. <laughs> I'll never walk properly again. Fuck off, please. You've got a job here. Prison service professional. What? I'm working for area management. Special program for women lifers. I'm back in your case. Literally. That wasn't any better. I'm working for area management. Oh, sorry. You've got a job here. Prison service professional. What? I'm working for area management. Special program for women lifers. I'm back on your case, literally. <laughs> I'm working for area management. Special program for women lifers. I'm back on your case, literally. <laughs> I'm working for area management. Special program for women lifers. I'm back on your case, literally. <laughs> 
I'm working for area management, special program for women lifers. I'm back in your case, literally. <laughs> God. What? I'm working for area management, special program for women lifers. I'm back in your case, literally. <laughs> You got a job here? Prison service professional. What? I'm working for area management, special program for women life. <laughs> I'm back in your case, literally. Thanks, Gina. No problem. <laughs> I take it you don't normally work for Her Majesty's prisons. <laughs> Did you have anything to do with it? Your cycle. Cut. I've got 101 other things to think about right now. Uh-huh. Like? Uh, foreign drugs courier on G-Wing. Name's Femi. First offence. First time out of Nigeria. Sentence? Eight years. Oh. Speaking English? Nope. It's not just a language. She's got dietary issues, religious issues. Well, my room is a bit rusty, but uh, I'm going to be after some... Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. It is a bit rusty. Uh, look, Helen, I know Jim's got his faults, but if I thought what happened in Shell Dockley's cell was because of any wrongdoing of his, I'd have his balls on a skewer. I hope you know that. I am not calling your integrity into question, Karen. I, it seemed that way. I'm looking for a motive. Why Shell stuck that bottle into Jim? I think she thought that no, sorry. <laughs> she thought that, um... OK. See you later. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yasmin Crisp. And then a few others. OK. <laughs> <laughs> It's the pieces of the jigsaw. By the way, did Paul Stringer's daughter identify the earring we found as hers? He didn't have to. Mrs. Garcia identified her and her dad. Why? See, sometimes we accept the things that seem to fit the pattern we expect. Sometimes things that... I don't know what I'm going to say. Hey, please. Okay. 